album and go, what goes on with all of that, like your own things wears you out. But the tours, I mean, the tours, it's difficult to work around the tour since it takes, yeah. it's, you know, so <laughs> frequent and uh, Now, did you make long. a pit stop out there with all those screaming girls? Yeah. What is that like? That's, that's crazy, too. I mean, I didn't think that I'd get very much support here because, you know, it's Cook State. So, But it was cool to see that people still, you know, still like you and still, still you know, cheer for you and support you. It's, Come on, they were screaming for you. <laughs> no. Right? I mean, what is it like to hear a bunch uh, of little girls screaming your name? Um, that, the screaming's the weird part, I guess, because it's like, why are they screaming, you know? Because it's just, you just still feel like yourself. Like, it's not like you've changed or anything. It's just everyone watches you now, I guess. <laughs> Do you get that a lot, like people go, you look so familiar, and you're like, uh, just kind of let you low and... You know, yeah, I, I don't have a really recognizable feature or anything, I think. I think it's, you know, like, a lot of people wear their hair like this, and I just wear t-shirts and jeans, and it's not like, I just look, I think, like a typical teenager. So, I don't know, that smile might so, give you away. So. Uh, <laughs> well, that's actually, I was at a restaurant, I even had a hat on, no one recognizes me with the hat on. Well... Almost no one. And the waitresses, they're like, just so you know, everyone's going crazy. You're, oh, because you're in here. I'm like, what? Why? And they're like, your smile gave it away. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, guilty. Okay, yeah. So, so what do days consist of for you? Because you, you were talking about, like, this stuff isn't tiring, but, like, you're working on albums and doing, like, what's your Yeah, day? actually, I was in L.A. for the past two days. Um, so I went, we had our home, my hometown shows. And then I flew to L.A. while everyone else went here for our days off. We had a few days off, so me and Cook went to L.A. to work on stuff. And then we flew out last night here for the show. It's busy. Yeah, but I love being productive and busy and stuff because it just feels like I'm doing something and getting to where I'm hoping to. It's like, you know, just taking those small steps. Well, now they're kind of big steps now well compared to how it was like a year ago yeah. which is weird I mean they're having auditions already again for the next uh, season that's so crazy so are you like no it's still my time it's oh no I, you're ready I, to pass it on I mean it's it's cool I, well it's you know the hard thing is that you know uh, you don't want to be like forgotten or anything from the yeah you know, I don't know like buried it f underneath the next season because you still want to try and make the album and try to, you know, yeah. I don't know, it's it's just all really long and there's a lot of that goes into making an album and it's a lot more than I imagined, I mean it's crazy, it's just all these songwriting meetings and producer meetings and uh, uh, other meetings and sessions and recording and looking for the right songs. And it's not like becoming an overnight success and bam. No. No, I mean, you know, now we've given, been given that platform to, you know, have these opportunities. Now we have to um, figure out how to work those opportunities in the right way. Yeah. And it's kind of, so it's kind of like, okay, now you have this to work with. What are you going to do with it? And that's where you're make it or break it is how you handle that. I know it's pretty I it's kind of good it's better I think sometimes it's better to wait for that wait a little while because you understand um, yourself better as a musician and know how to explain things and are more experienced with the whole situation you might have performed more and tried more songwriting and stuff but I think you know I think because I'm here, it was meant to happen, so I just have to run with it and work with it as best as I can. I mean, it's been a lot of fun. I'm so excited to just get the album. Hopefully it'll be good. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard to find the right stuff. I mean, it's not like things are just handed to you. Yeah. Well, like things, songs are given to you, but it's just a matter, it's like, does it work or not? Because it's not like okay, these are the perfect songs for you and they'll be huge hits and they're songs that suit you and make sense and people are able to connect with you, with them, relate to you. You know, I want my music to be relatable, even though I'm sure, you know, uh, it sh it's going to be more poppy. But I still want to have a good balance of radio songs and also the more songs that, the songs that people are able to connect with and just feel like, okay, that's... 
I, I mean, with those songs, I feel like I'm able to show why I love music. Yeah. And that's kind of what I did on the show. I think I did a little too much of that, but I, I still think it's good that I was able to express my love of music or whatever. I don't know. You're so cute.